Like I say, now, how many, now I know you, you, these people won't raise your hand because this is the way they are. I wonder how many guitar pickers we have in the audience. Raise your hand if you guitar pickers. If you own a guitar, raise your hand. That way they can get everybody to raise your hand. If you own a guitar, okay. I want to make an announcement before we start with Tom Gresh. We have a special weekend coming up September the 27th through the 30th is, a, is the uh, Hall, uh, Home of the Legends Thumb Picking Contest and Hall of Fame. If you haven't been to this, it's a great weekend. On Friday night, they have, the, uh, they have a concert and everything. It's just wonderful. They have the Hall of Fame, induction to the Hall of Fame. All day Saturday, we have guitar contests, and so the best guitar players in the world will be here for this. That night, we have a concert and give out the awards and so forth. And then Sunday afternoon, we have an open jam session. So be sure there'll be some great picks. We you notice Eddie Pennington came in, Paul Moser, they're all part of this, and they have to put this on. We appreciate that. But anyway, it's a great weekend, so mark that on your calendar, September the 27th through the 30th. A wonderful weekend if you like guitar music. It's going to be here. They have several different categories, and you're going to love this weekend. We asked the Forsyths to come back and we was on that weekend, so thank you. But now, I'd say you're in for a great treat. How many have heard Tom Brash? All right, how many haven't heard him? This is going to be a wonderful treat for you. I think you're going to enjoy it. He's got some coal mining songs he's going to sing. Let's hear it for Tom Brash. What do you care if it rains for? I guess I don't. Welcome to the miners area. Boy, the new mercantile shop is great. Uh, Claude gave me a flicker a few years ago. I was going to go in there and try to spend it, but I don't have wooden. I don't know if they take flickers or not. songs. I know four of them. 
Now I got three left, but there's always a good side to that. I got a lot more things I got to do anyway. But 16 tons is kind of the, the whole theme of this thing. And it's got a number of verses, so I thought, well, I'll just give you a verse every once in a while and get you in that sort of mood, and I'll do my thing. And when I see you start slipping, I'll give you another verse. Get some Travis songs, some Brush songs, and everything. Right now, I'm going to do a, a Brush and Carver song. Wrote it, you know, you make one 
up. And, and I played it at the Chet Atkins thing, he said, a number of years ago. And I said, this song doesn't have a name yet, but uh, it's, it's a cool little thumb picking song. I'll play it for you. And I played it. And this guy hollers out in the audience, Tom Stone. What? That should be the title, Tom Stone. I said, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Let's play on the words. So I get done with the show. I get off. Marcel Dadi, the French guitarist that we lost in Flight 800. TWA, he heard it. Tom, brother Tom, listen. I must have a song. You, the new song you write, please call it Marcel Stam. I said, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, Marcel Stam, please. I will write a song for you, my brother Tom, I promise. But I love this song. Tom Stam, see, there's a nursery rhyme, Tom Stam. I don't care, I'm French. I don't care anything about nursery rhyme. Marcel Stam. That doesn't make sense. I'll tell you what. This is the part I like. I said, I'll tell you what, Marcel, how do you, let's do it in French. How do you say dumb in French? Yes, great idea. Pousse. <laughs> no, I'm not, that's not going to work. I'm not Marcel's Pousse. I'm not written by who? Press wrote the wall. That's for all the rainbow stuff and everything, you know. I mean, I, I didn't have a Confederate flag or anything, just a Marcel's Pousse. I'm not going to do it. We wound up when he passed on in that flight 800. I officially named it Marcel's Thumb. But I thought that was kind of a fun story, obviously. Uh, you weren't with us, so I don't know exactly how. He did write a song for me. It took him three years. Do pipeline. 
So I'll do a song that was written out on the plains. And I made up this big story. And then we played Pipeline, and they all clapped. They thought, oh, it was great. They said, I like the one. You could really see the dust coming up from the herding the cattle. Yeah, I'm sure you could. This thing off again. Oh, I turned it off that time. I scared myself. Okay, you know what I was going to do? Oh, I know what I was going to do for you. Because I'm talking about Marcel. Let me play you a song that Marcel, he, uh, he did give me a song back. It took him three years. Each year he'd come to America. He says, I had the first movement of your song. First movement. What the hell's that mean? Well, it's going to have three movements in it. Yeah, it's going to take you like three years. And maybe I don't know. It has to come from the inside. Yeah, you got mine like that. I have to wait three years. Finally, in three years, he had all three movements. And I'll play it for you. Now it's called My Brother Tom. And I salute. There's a number of us in here that knew Marcel. I salute him. And here's his tribute to me. Marcel, it's called uh, Tom's, no, not Tom's Tom. It's uh, My Brother Tom, written in a browser of mine before it blew up. Turned us into a coal mine Records knew the record company at the time said, 
whatever. We don't care anything about that. Write something that sounds like a folk song. So he said, so I, I, I made that up in a number of them. They ain't really folk songs. He said, no, I never cared if that 16 tons. My mama used to say, anything I ever wanted. Oh, honey, we owe our soul to the company store. And Travis always said, you tell somebody something they've never heard, and they'll always remember it. He said, that, that's what you need to do in a song. So he said, I never cared for this song until Tennessee Henry Ford sold five million copies of it. <laughs> he said, that's when it became my favorite folk song of all time. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, some people say a man is made out of mud. Poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. Sixteen ton. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me? Cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. Shovel walk down to the mine, loaded 16 tons, number nine coal, straw boss said, Well, bless your soul, loaded 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Well, St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. I was over in France, and uh, we were all sitting around drinking wine, talking about coal. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah, we talk about you leave coal long enough, turns into diamond. It's like wine, the you know, same thing. But I was lorded by the World Wine Council in Bordeaux, France, 1996. I was number 750 to be lorded in the last 200 years. 20 years now, 30 years, what is it? I don't even know what year is now. But uh, I thought, what can I bring to this lording? They're gonna do this lording. You know, and said, Shoot. I was taught to bring something to the party. Thought, you can't bring them wine, for God's sake. They got all the wine they need. I'll write them a song. So I'm gonna play that song for you that I made up for the World Wine Council. <laughs> It's got a tricky title too. In French, it's uh, Sidewalks of Bordeaux. So it is an English show.
barns and stables Well, I finally found a song that I could play I'm 
the jingle bells ring. If I was a river, I'd break that dam. There ain't no damn wall gonna hold me in. Well, I'm just a song. I'm just a song. There's a million like me, but I'm the only one. A song.
to sing happy birthday to you. We have to. Can you take it? Well, I'll pick the, I don't know what key we'll do. We'll do it here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. There she is there. Standing up, dancing. She doesn't care about nothing. I've known you ever since I've been back back in Nashville. So I think I met you about 83 or so. That's when I think it was because right when Travis died, and I came here for the first time. Well, I was here one at a time on a visit. I think that's when it was. 83? No, that's not many years. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it is, but you know, I guess it is. People ask me, they said, when would you come move to Nashville? I live in Nashville. I always kind of held it at arm's length. I'm a California boy. Come on. Born in Hollywood. Yes. Oh, I can't do that anymore. Incorrect. Everything is incorrect. I don't I don't, like, I don't wear one of those flags right on my jacket and, and, and I don't know, something else. Pink boots. Come on. I could reinvent myself. What do you think? I think so. That'd be fun. Of people making fun of me. Yeah. Bruce Jenner did done making fun of him. He's already on a magazine cover. Yeah. Looks pretty hot too, if you ask me. <laughs> Haven't thought of switching, but damn, he looks good. But people say, when did you move to Nashville? It's 1983. I got tired of shooting at each other on the freeways. So I got to get out of here. So at the time, I was with Lane Brody. So, you know, I said, you want to move to Nashville? Or do you want to go down around San Diego, Santa Barbara, somewhere where we still get down there? But she had a, a record that was doing really good from the movie Tender Mercies called Over You, Robert Duvall movie, up for an Oscar. She says, let's, let's move to Nashville and be part of that music community. So we did. People ask me, what was it like when you moved there? 